Hi guys, I'm back with another dip powder manicure featuring IGL Beauty dip powder. Uh, before we get started, I have sanitized my hands. I applied two coats of Sally Hansen nail strengthener and two coats of Dipalicious Peel Off Base Coat. And I did two coats because I thought it would be easier for um, removal process. I thought they wouldn't really last long. Um, and I wanted to do a New Year's theme mani. Um, but today is Tuesday, it's Tuesday evening and they have not popped off yet there's no lifting or anything like that but anyway so we're using color um, pine green dd 126 and mistletoe which is a glitter dip powder color so um, whenever you're doing flat and glitter you want to do your flat color first and activate that and then go in and do your glitter if not you could get glitter um particles on your flat and it will just ruin everything so guys just hang out with me um and watch me do this dip powder or christmas themed dip powder mani For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tish. I am a nurse who loves to do her nails. For those of you that are not new to my channel, welcome back. Thank you for hanging in there with me. So for both of you guys, new and old, please um, feel free to like, comment, share, and or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm just using a water marbling tool to run along my cuticle area just to remove any excess dip powder or um, base that um, I applied haphazardly um, to my nails. And you saw me kind of wiggling my thumb there because I get hand cramps. Um, so I was just wiggling out a, a cramp there. So I'm applying that flat color to my thumb, uh, pinky, and my index finger. And um, I'm not going to apply clear on top of there because after looking at it, I could tell that I really don't need that much um, fouling uh, and buffing. But um, I'm also gonna, going to apply activator um, to activate that uh, flat color before I do the glitter application. So actually, I just told the story. I did go in and apply clear to the um, 
flat color um so i did do that um this is what happens when you do your voiceover after you recorded the video and you forgot what you did but anyway um i digress i am applying um activator to again those flat um the flat color nails and that's just because i don't want to get glitter on there and then it ruined my mani so again i'm just applying two coats of activators of that and then we're going to get into the glitter application and with the glitter application i did um I had some areas that I missed, and I'm thinking that's the Dipalicious base coat. I'm going to go back to using my Oomt to peel off base coat and see if that makes a difference. But I don't recall having so many areas where I apply base, and it just seems like the brush just missed the entire area. With a dip powder color that has fine glitter like this one, you can choose to dip or lay your finger flat in the powder and then um, just to make it as smooth of an application as possible because I did have an earlier glitter mani um, that was just so bulky. And my middle finger actually came out a little bit bulky, but I was able to file that down as much as possible to make it look less bulky. But again, it did still turn out pretty bulky. And I also wanted to add that I use a different brush when I brush off uh, glitter dip powder. And then um, when everything's said and done, I do take acetone or alcohol and clean that brush really well um, just so I can use it again. But you want to dedicate a brush for flat color and a brush for uh, glitter color. But again, it, if you clean it out well, it really won't um, matter if that makes sense. So with that... Um, Again, I'm just using my water marbling tool just to get along my cuticle area and wiping that off on a paper towel. I do have that disposable nail mat there, um, but I also use that a few times and when I do my manis. So I always put down um, a paper towel on top of that just because I want to get as much use as possible from that disposable nail mat. So I wanted to let you guys know, um, I do have, in addition to this one, two um, more Christmas themed manis to upload. Um, I just ended up with a bunch of Christmas mani videos and not even realizing that I, silly me, upload only once a week. So I normally only upload once a week on Sunday. I haven't done a New Year's themed mani yet, not quite sure what I want to do, but I will be uploading a um, New Year's themed mani. Um, not sure at the moment if I'm going to upload Sunday like I normally do or wait closer to New Year's, but we'll see, um, you know, what I can get done. So just wanted to let you guys know that. I did encapsulate my glitter off camera in clear. You always want to encapsulate clear, I mean glitter dip powder in clear because when you go to file and buff, if you don't, it can turn your glitter into like a silver glitter. Like it takes off all the layers and whatever it that process involves with making glitter. So I did my filing and buffing off camera. And that's the look here and I um, used alcohol to remove any dust from my nails and I'm going in with IGL Beauty's nail stickers and they're gold um, nail stickers they actually had a, a awesome sale um, I think it was after Black Friday or on Black Friday they had their nail stickers for a dollar so I end up purchasing a bunch of those and of course I got a bunch of Christmas um, stickers because I love Christmas um, so I decided to go in and use um, I wanted the ornaments and I'm just placing it over my nail just to see how it looks. I end up ripping and I'm taking some tweezers 
I ended up ripping um, this first sticker, um, and I was like, great, but no worries, because we have additional stickers here. Um, so I'm just putting an ornament on one nail, and then there's a little cute little reindeer that I put on my nails as well. What I should have done was put down um, base coat and cure it. Um, just because my nails looked a little ashy from the alcohol and I think with the um, gel base it would just made it look a little bit better underneath especially with the reindeer and I also decided with the ornament to put a little bow on the top of the ornament and I did that off camera So after I applied my stickers and I added that bow off camera, I went in and applied Luxie Nail Rubber Base Coat and cured that for 60 seconds. And then I applied um, Luxie Nail No Wipe Top Coat and cured that for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And guys, here's the finished look. My hands are so dusty and ashy. Um, so you want to apply um, your favorite cuticle oil and again moisturize your hands and I'm just rubbing that in and any excess oil I usually take a paper towel or something and wipe that off because it is extra and that little fur rug there is just a photo prop um, that I use um, at the end of my videos or if I put my pictures on um, Instagram and here's the finished look I hope you guys like it thanks for watching see you see ya what's today Tuesday I'll see you Thursday <laughs>